Right now where you are, you can assess your capability and, uh, and understand what you need to learn, what you know, and then how you can contribute in your workplace and uh, for your colleagues and for your patients. And then all the way through to understand organisational learning. From, so from a novice to expert perspective, we have this opportunity to not feel uh, in any way judged, but to know that we can value add. We, uh, we're dedicated to learning organisation culture, so we know that we will always continue with professional development. And to have professional uh, professionalism with digital health is going to be quite pr profound for the future of all Australians and for the nursing and midwifery professions. And when particularly when an organisation, if it's a big hospital, is implementing some new technology, digital health technology, that they involve nurses and midwives in the process, they're consulted, they're included, because often they're very practical people, they often have really good suggestions and solutions. And if they're included in that process, you're gonna have much more likely a much more successful outcome. Again, with the framework, it has patient care domains in there. And again, going back to looking at the skill set you have and then looking at what you need to learn to do it better. And I think that the whole um, premise of quality and safety care is built into every part of that framework. And nurses in many, um, in fact, in most situations, are gatekeepers of quality and safety. So I think that helps them realise that, but also then to map that. And maybe when they're thinking about, oh, this is too hard, they think, oh, actually, I really need to know how to do that. Oh, I better ask skilled care. So I think they're the benefits. And patient care, quality patient care is the goal of everything we do.